What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel and if you want to hear please hit subscribe. Subscribe right there. Down there hit subscribe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to talk about um my specific learning disability. Um so I think I've talked a little bit about welfare and SSI and um, SSI and like um, I think SSBD I think you know social security disability uh, or the self supplemental um I don't know if I got the full name but it's basically like to help people with disabilities like all kinds of disabilities, physical and mental, because the ones that you cannot see does matter, you know. The invisible illness disability that not many people notice because it's invisible. You cannot see a disability because it's not physical. And there are many like mental like disabilities, mental illnesses, and not many people understand and always stereotyping and always making assumptions, etc. And they just say, Oh, they should get over it. But you may have depression, anxiety, it could be a normal, like regular, like you may not always have it, like you may experience it. But not to the like extent of having it severe, like all the time, or like like every month, a couple times a week, um, a year or more, like or just comes and goes. And sometimes you have no control of it, and it's very difficult. And since I have made an appointment for SSI face to face, um, since to them. I have to um, not look presentable to have a disability, which technically is not entirely true because there are many people who have a disability and they could look cute. They don't have to look ugly to like, oh, you looked horrible, you are disabled. Like, that is not always true. Some, but not all. I could look cute. But have a disability, you know? A person, like I said, a person can look normal, but not necessarily they are. You know, they could be disabled. You don't know that. Not, it may not be noticeable, but they could be disabled. They could have a disability where it's mental, or, or is there something you, you, something you cannot see, but it's there, and it's real, and it's imp also important to know and be aware of. You know, and since I went to like my therapist, I go every week, once a, once every week on a Wednesday in the morning. And like, since I need to go SSI to get my, you gotta have information from my doctor, my therapist, etc. Because I was like trying so hard to prove these things. And I hate the fact that you have to prove yourself, you know. Like they don't, they don't believe your word and all that to prove everything. And if when you try to prove something, sorry, it's not valid. And it's like really, and there I tried, it's not valid. And <laughs> yeah, and it makes me really upset. And I, when sometimes when I get really upset, I will get so angry. I feel like scratching my 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 skin or like. Like, under points where I get so angry, upset, I would really, like, want to hurt myself. If someone gets, I get irritated and angry. Yeah, that happens. I get irritated and angry. Anyway, so I contacted my old high school that I went to. Like, I didn't know if I should call or not. So I was pondering for two hours, wondering if I should call or not to go to the school to get information about my records 
So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to call just to make sure. So I just like, I looked at the number like, hey, it's me, I used to go to your school. And I was wondering if I could get my special education records from my old school that I went to. You still have them? If I make, you know, I can get copies to you if I need it. Because I have an appointment to go to exercise so I can prove that I have these things and prove that I did have a learning disability in school and I've had IEP for many years. And first and second grade around there, first, second, and third grade around those, I had ESOL, but then later on changed to like IEP. Like, I have a learning disability, it's a specific learning disability. And since, you know, I was lucky, I'm like, yes, I've got the paper with my name on it, huh? And it has like two papers in here of, of uh, my special education records. Proof. This is proof. So I'm not lying. And like, I know that I experienced this all the time in school. I experienced it. I lived it. It was hard. And it's, you see, you think I'm kind of smart because like I'm talking to a camera. Because it's easier to talk to a camera when nobody's around. And I feel like, oh, like no one's here. Okay, I can talk now. Like, I can talk. I'm talking to myself, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my weird hairstyle, but it's fine. My mom thinks that this is retarded. She thought she thinks that that, that, that this is stupid. What I what I did to my hair? That oh, why are you doing that to your hair, Melissa? You look retarded. You look stupid. You look ugly. And I'm like, you're my mom. You're supposed to like like love me no matter what. I mean, it's just hair. It's gonna grow back. Anyway, what was I talking about again? Oh yeah, I went off topic. The paper. So I'm gonna like read some of it, not, not the whole thing, cause it's a lot to read. But I'm gonna read just um a little bit of it, not everything. Just talk about some of the things that are in here that I have took my time to read. You know, some of it I didn't understand, but like, okay, I'll just Google it. <laughs> Thank you, Google. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so since there's two of two little packets, I'm gonna read just one for now because I don't, don't want to like read everything. I mean, I can read everything, but like some of it, some of from 2014 and 2015, my grades weren't that good. Like if you see, like right here, like C's, D's, B's. See, I told you, not very good grades. You see that? And I've been like that for a long time. Every since I, ever since I was so young, like like um twelve, ten, eleven or older, like no matter how old I was, my reading level, my math level level was not that good. It was bad. Like I've I was good at writing, but like my spelling was bad. But I did enjoy writing. I, I, do, I enjoy writing to this day and reading. I can read. I like to read sometimes, but it depends what kind. Because uh, I, I am interested in, in specific little things. Like, it depends. Because, like, I'm, I'm interested in stuff that are kind of weird or strange. And I like that stuff. <laughs> and it's saying that it's, like, below average or... Then my reading level, and then Melissa remained attend attentive and thoughtful, although her motivation wavered at times during more difficult tasks. Melissa transitioned quickly, but had difficulty. Um, something on tasks that I can't even pronounce these words that, like, some of it were hard to do. <laughs> yeah. I was I was frequency absent in my senior year because I had problems not just cause, because I was a teen mom but it was also other things that was hard to talk about because I was always severely depressed every single day I was severely depressed and anxious but I just I don't talk about that I don't always show it and it was hard because like. That's why there's no medical record because no one took me to the hospital for mental reasons because I didn't talk because I was afraid to speak up about my internal feelings. I keep everything internal. I'm like, 
would you call it an introvert person? Yeah, I'm, I'm not much of an extrovert or like external, like, you know, external extrovert. Everything is like out there. Like, I'm not like that. Usually, I just like to keep everything inside. And I like to put on my smile, like, hey, like, but sometimes it's just like, it's hard to like, let things out. When I do, I break down and cry. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys to read the part Behavioral ass ass Assessment System for Children, even though I was like 17 around here. Yeah, I was 17 in like the 11th grade in 2014, right? It says like com composite. Okay, okay, I don't know what this right here, if you can see that. I don't know what that means. It's like average, average, but like externalizing problems external problems that is an average but it's a problem <laughs> hyperactivity and eh, not really like it's a, I don't know like aggression average con conduct problems average I don't know what conduct problem means anyway and in internal internal light that's the one internal that's the one yeah, at risk. See, it's right here at risk. Internal problems, anxiety, depression, all that stuff. And when I read that, that one or two teachers may have noticed this about me, I started crying while reading it because I'm like, do you notice? Because it's not always shown like externally. It's always sometimes it's, it's internal and at risk for anxiety <laughs> and depression i don't know what clinically significant means i'm like i'm not sure um somatation uh, average i don't know what that is behavioral symptoms index cl clinically insignificant um a typically like i don't know i think i don't know what that means to look it up withdrawal like i withdraw from every from people or things activities there it all just says clinically and clinically significant clinically significant school problems clinically significant learning problem clinically significant um attention problems at risk adaptive skills at risk ab ab adaptability at risk social skills average leadership at risk functional communication at risk study skills at risk now i'm gonna read this part uh, while melissa's teacher did not know any concerns in the area of external problems um, he did in 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 droves. I don't know what that word means. And items suggesting a risk, internal problems, particularly anxiety. See, I was at risk, and guess what? It's true. I've I've have oh, sorry. I've had problems with depression. Like, see, even a paper says it. The teacher wrote like all these things. It's true, and I experienced it, and I never knew other teachers' point of view, what their perspective about me, what they thought about me. I've never knew about that because I was been afraid to ask. But now reading this, I'm curious to like go back in the school and be like, hey, I want to talk to the teachers and like find out what did you think about me, kind of thing. I want to know like what these words mean, like from their perspective. From I want to know now that I'm older. I want to know. But, eh, <laughs> I'm just curious, though. Anyway, the depression, clinically, it's significant. For example, in regards to anxiety, he endroves items. I don't know what that means. Items such as often worries, often says I'm afraid I will make a mistake, sometimes worries about things that cannot be changed, sometimes worries about what other adolescents think. Depression, it items in something by melissa's teacher include is often negative about things that's so true <laughs> i am often negative about things oft, oh, almost always 
seem so lonely and it's true not seem I'm always damn I always feel like so alone lonely and it's true it's sometimes easily upset true sometimes cries easily so true <laughs> that is so true oh my god and sometimes and says sometimes says nobody likes me you have like oh, nobody I just yo this is so true like I remember bruh <laughs> and see other behavioral areas related to ev 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 um elevated by Melissa's teacher include attention problems withdrawal the tendency to avoid social contact and it typically the tendency to behave in ways which are considered odd and sh or strange and weird so I sometimes add I act weird and strange like okay um I guess maybe I did I, I don't remember really much about that I mean I think I did act okay I think so like I don't know I mean I'm I'm weird okay and let's see in regards to attention problems okay attention problems Melissa teacher. Um, some things such as items such as short attention spam. I don't know what that means. Um, I really don't know. It's often easily distracted and always sometimes listens carefully. Withdrawal. Withdrawal um, by Melissa's teacher includes often trouble making new friends, often avoid other adolescents, often plays alone, and often refuses, refuses to join group activities. That is so true. I remember. I did join. I did join some group because I had to. I had no choice because I had to. But honestly, I didn't want to. It was like I don't want to be involved in groups at all. I didn't like it. I felt uncomfortable. I felt like I would be get. I will make get get make fun of and stuff. But also, it's like I wanted to make friends. I wanted relationships and friendships. But at the same time, I just couldn't because I was scared and I didn't want to get bullied. So I didn't want to be in group. I didn't like it. I just, I felt uncomfortable. I didn't want to. It's like, I just can't. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Um, on the I typically subscale Melissa's teacher some, something in droves items such as often has strange ideas. I don't remember that. I, I sometimes I, I'm I forget and I just don't remember and often seems unaware of others. Unaware of others? Like I don't I don't get it. I don't get that. Sometimes I act strangely, sometimes says things that makes no sense, and sometimes seems out of touch with reality. Oh, okay. Like right here, people. You can't see that. You read that. I don't know if you can read that though, but like out of touch with reality right there. Sorry. <laughs> out of touch with reality. I don't know. I don't really know what that means. I should look it up. And so many other things though. Like and teacher Melissa teacher was learning um evaluated, evaluated me, learning problems. Almost always have trouble keeping up with keeping up in class. Almost always complains that lessons go too fast. Almost always gets failing school grades. Often always read reading problem. Almost always have problems with mathematics, etc. Um, is never getting people to work together. Only sometimes covers. Quickly after a setback, sometimes gets upset when plans are changed, is never chosen for leader, is never really well organized, never has good study habits, and lots of other stuff. And it says my strong, my, my relative strength will be verbal expression, written expression, well behaved in class. Duh, I was well behaved in class. Obviously, I was a, I was a good student. They, they, I have comments saying in here from teachers saying that I was a good student. I had a problem learning. That it was hard for me to to understand things, 
and but overall I was well behaved and then I was a nice young lady and that was some of it said I was good at writing even though I am like I think I said it in my other, other paper though like in the senior one okay so I found teachers teachers input um according to um miss or mister I think um L Pandor I don't I don't remember their name Academically, Melissa attempts to complete all assignments in class. However, her responses are often incorrect, and she typically needs modified ass assignments in the consumer with math class. Melissa requires chunk chunking of material with written and reminders of steps for problem solving, use of calculator and example to complete a problem. Here, academic support has often been beneficial for melissa behaviorally there are no concerns for melissa the great the greatest concerns in math is melissa's attendance and ability to grasp mathematical mathematical and logical concepts and another one my favorite teacher mr pillis melissa tries extremely hard most of the time when given a clear assignment, especially one that has to do with writing, she completes her assignment and often goes above and beyond. Aw, thank you. Melissa is prophilic, prof, prophilic writer. I don't know what that means. Melissa is respectful at all times. Da. Pure academic. Oh, wait, hold on. I was like, I was like, went somewhere else. She interacts well with others sometimes. And students sometimes and sometimes keep to herself always responds in a in a in a in a appropriate manner when addressed she may be a little talkative sometimes and un un unmotivated at times and let's see Melissa is a very very nice young lady who completes all her tasks and is not a behavior problem in class at all. So she's a very sweet girl. Of late, she has been missing a few classes, but she is able to catch up pretty quickly sometimes. Melissa does not demonstrate behavioral needs. Her strengths is her writing, even though she misspelled some, you know, misspelled words, whatever. Melissa is always works to the best of her ability. However, she does not, she does have a tough time with written assignments. She does not demonstrate behavioral needs. She is a great student that just needs extra time to complete her work, etc. And that's all there is. So, yeah. Anyway, goodbye, guys. I love you all. Sorry this video is kind of long. Ah, but goodbye. Subscribe. Hope you enjoyed that. You know, a little glimpse, I guess, into, like, um what I did in school, like, and from some information, you know, like, it's real, I'm telling the truth, this ain't a lie, and I ain't pretending to say I ain't got nothing, because it's right over there, like, <sighs> and mental and the invisible disabilities are important, too, so anyway, bye, all links down below, check them out, Story time videos and LGBTQ plus content links down below. Subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to hit the bell to let you guys know whenever I upload a new video. Okay. I love you guys. Till next time. Bye.